my lovers happy nation welcome to your july love reading i didn't put out any um readings for astrological signs um in june um so i'm hoping that you know when i i put these out now that i'll always be on time for your readings um well as you know you guys are usually last <laughs> because you we've been following a very complicated love story i mean i'm kind of interested in this as well because uh, my moon is in capricorn but it's been a very complicated love story um something happened to die for something to live i mean it's it it, it takes a lot of energy so i usually leave it for last okay so let's get into this but somebody is about to say goodbye to codependency and the devil yeah they're about to say goodbye to start something new i feel it i can feel it yeah because this person wants the lovers they're about to make a choice in love keeps coming up they're about to make a choice in love i told you <laughs> the energy of the reading the people in this situation are tired they're tired they're tired they feel like they don't have the strength to find for this soulmate relationship they feel like they don't have the strength to um, say goodbye to some kind of commitment that they've made they have so much love in their heart and abundance to offer but they're not sure who to offer it to but they're just wishing for a new beginning in love they want to end all their options and really just make an offer to one end all the secrets say goodbye to the devil what did i tell you guys you just shouldn't doubt me man they want to say goodbye to the devil i'm putting the work in a soulmate relationship and really get the strength eight 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 could be a message for you See what I'm saying? I told you. Somebody is saying goodbye to the devil. Your person Capricorn. Now remember this is energy. So it could be vice versa. So it, when you, you will evaluate and see where your energy lies, right? So Capi, your person. When they think about you, they think about this connection. How are they processing it mentally? In their head, logically, when they look at this, what, what are they thinking? They're thinking that they want to win your heart. You may also be dealing with an egotistical ass. Could be. <laughs> no, but I, I, I'm going to pull cards on it to clarify, okay? And that's why I leave Cappy for last. Because loads of clarification needed there's just so much going on but this person wants victory um leo sagittarius aries this person wants victory they're really fired up about you um and they're gonna go all out until they win this person is saying goodbye to third parties this is an empress, this is usually a Taurus or a Libra, but it could be the mother of their children, some kind of mother figure as well. Um, if, this person, if your person had mummy issues, um, they're saying goodbye to that. They're really about to step into their power. They're really about to step into their power. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clarify, okay, because Cappy, you deserve it. This is a complicated kind of shit. Um, your person they, they, they're finally tapping into the issue intuition or this could be how they see you okay 
They could see you as this, you know, this very intuitive being, beautiful, sexy, mysterious. They're, they're, they're just absolutely intrigued by all the shit that's going on with you. Right? But there could be secrets here that they've not been revealed. Or they could be trying to use their intuition to make a particular choice. Okay? Um, this is usually a Pisces or Scorpio, but it's also the opposite polarity, which is Virgo and Taurus as well. But it could be anything, anybody, because this is just the energy that they're embodying. All right, so let me do, let me do some clarification for you guys. Why is the six of our wands here? Are you, are you dealing with an egotistical ass or somebody that just wants your hand? I think that's important to know, right? <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening. Yeah, this is, I told you. This person is coming to fight. They're coming to fight for this relationship. They're coming to fight for you. They're not taking no for an answer, buddy. Hope this is somebody that you want. Because they're coming. Why is the same person reverse? Yeah. Because this person has made a choice. This person has made a choice. They've, they've chosen their divine partner. Which is you. They've chosen you. This person has made a choice. So whether you're seeing this in a 3D, I'm not sure. But mentally, they've made a choice to get rid of the third party. That's why this Empress is in reverse. Why is High Priestess here? Happy, I think you're going to have a long reading. High Priestess is here because somebody is not ready to take a leap of faith as yet. They're still thinking. Hold on. What I tell you. They're still thinking. Um, this person knows what they have to do. Intuitively, they know what they have to do. But they're, they're, they're bound by all their negative thoughts. That's why they're not taking that leap of faith yet towards the High Priestess. They're just not optimistic that they can accomplish this. There's so much that's unknown. It's like taking steps in the dark. That's why they're not speaking their truth. That's why they're not cutting people out just yet. It's This person has a hard time just relying on their intuition and what their intuition is telling them. Their intuition is telling them, hey, get rid of this third party, bitch. Get rid of this third party. But they're like, but what if this happens or what if she doesn't want me what if i'm not successful what if this what if that la 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 there's this, there's this like a, there's a mental diarrhea going on in this person's head it's mental diarrhea it's really it really is shit hard space what is this person feeling when they think about you Okay, they've made this, this this decision to invest in this relationship. Um, this is like the the, the 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 young empress. There's a potential there for abundance, uh, and they're seeing that. They're seeing you. They're seeing you. They're seeing your potential for abundance. So they're looking at this. This is a, this is a serious investment opportunity for them. They know that like, this is a sure bet. This is this is a good horse to bet on, you know? They know. And their heart, their heart is telling them, just do it. Do it. Jump. Transform your life. Jump. Look at all these butterflies. If this person decides to jump, their life will be transformed forever. Maybe that's what they're afraid of. As I told you, it's taking steps in the dark. I mean, it's trusting that the divine will have your back. It's having the faith of a child. The trust of a child. That's Aries energy. What else are they feeling in their heart? Oh my goodness. Yeah. In their heart space, they're caught. They're caught in um, 
programming karmic issues might even be caught with a karmic partner i think they're with a karmic partner so they're hard they, they, they really want this wheel to turn in their favor but i think they're caught in some sort of karmic cycle in their heart space they're in the, they, there's still that karmic energy in their heart it's also about past relationships as well and the thoughts of everything that can go wrong that's why they have trouble listening to their heart space let me pull a card now why is this wheel in, in reverse Spirit, why is this wheeling reverse? Now it could be that they're a provider in some other relationship, or it could be that they've just not stepped into the emperor energy and taken charge of the situation and taken charge of their life. Let me see. Yeah, they have this little cup of love that they want to give, but they're not taking charge of their life. Yeah, there's this Ten of Cups that's here for the taking, but they're not stepping into that Emperor energy yet. It could also be um, uh, that they're a provider, that there's a child involved, and there's, there's some sort of family set up um, that they're reluctant to walk away from okay all right so what's blocking this connection right now this person is just refusing to accept the cup that's been offered to them by the universe they're, they're ignoring it for the moment. I'll pull cards and see why, okay? Um, that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, this is fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. They're just not ready to take this cup. I'm going to find out why. Um, they're kind of unawakened. Um they're going through a spiritual awakening and they're not complete they've not completed that yet this is sagittarius so this might be even being blocked by the universe because this person has not completed their transformation and their awakening yeah and this person isn't expressing their love and again we have another child so there could be a child that's really in the consideration of this person. Okay. Fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, so I think the page of wands are Leo. All right. So based on these current energies, what can we expect will be their actions towards you by the end of July? Oh, no. Let me see why they're not um, taking this cup. Yeah, they're just being indecisive. They're being indecisive. And that's why they're not offering their love. Alright, let me see why judgment is in reverse. Why is judgment in reverse, bro? Yeah, they're, ju they're just not manifesting anything at this point in time. And it's mainly because this person lacks self-confidence. They lack self-confidence. They lack self-love. They lack self-worth. That's why they're choosing to stay in these kind of codependent relationships. All right, anyway. By the end of July, what's going to happen? What will be their actions towards you? They're going to make a choice. They're going to make a choice. That's a seven of cups in reverse. They're going to get clarity. The clarity that they speak, they're seeking, they're going to get it. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. Um, this decision is going to cause them a lot of heartbreak. 
and a sense of loss and grief but they're gonna go they're gonna put an end to that coming in and out of your life they're gonna be a lot more stable this is Sagittarius here let me see why it's gonna cause them grief yeah and this is capricorn they're gonna choose you they're gonna choose you capricorn this is the queen of pentacles they're gonna choose you yeah they may not come to you immediately and speak their truth because i think they're gonna be you know processing but they're gonna choose you They're gonna choose it because the the other third party, the third party, um, told too much lies. There was too much deception. There was too much conflict, and that's why they're gonna choose you. It's just too much. Okay. Let's see why this um, player is in reverse. The Knight of Wands, Mr. Sagittarius. Why is he in reverse? Yeah, because he's going to take that. He's going to take that leap. All right, so your person's going to take a leap of faith by the end of July. Um, the situation that they're in right now, because I do believe there is another situation, um, it's, just, it's, it's just too much conflict. So they are going to take that leap of faith towards you, but it is going to make them very sad. I think they had a lot of investment here. They were very invested. There might have been children involved. So this is not an easy decision for them to make. It isn't. Um... And they regret even putting themselves in the in this this in this um, scenario situation in the first place, but you know they had to do that to grow though. It had to happen. All right, so Cappy, that was your reading. If you want me to look into your particular situation, instructions are down below. Um, if you want to do an energy exchange, um, donate decks or anything like that, you can send them to my Florida address. All that is in instructions down below my wish list link to my wish list everything is below okay all right guys thank you so much for listening and tune into my channel take care